This is the Artly Play. It's an LED projector based on Android TV Smart OS 9.0. This is the first time I'm reviewing a projector of this type. Now, most of my previous projector reviews have been based on lamp or laser projectors. Generally, those types of projectors have lower lifespans. This is very compact, as you can see from the design. Even then, it has a lifespan of 70,000 hours, which is amazing. Natively, it is 720p, but it can scale up to 1080 and 4K, which is perfectly supported. So I will be testing this by playing some 4K content for you guys. Now it is an Android based projector. So some of the key features, it does have Google Assistant built into it. It also has Chromecast built into it. So you can wirelessly stream from your Android phones, but it also has 2.4 and five gigahertz Wi-Fi capability. So you can wirelessly stream from your iOS devices as well. So I will be testing that out with my iPhone 12 Pro. One other thing I really like about this is that it has inbuilt Bluetooth and capabilities of connecting to a soundbar. I will set this up with my Bluetooth soundbar in my room. So I will give you guys an audio test in addition to the video quality test as well to see how good this is. And now the contrast ratio is 6,000 to one, which is really great. And one thing I need to see in the projectors that I buy is that the quality of the dark shadows, the blacks and the vibrancy in the colors, I really look out to see if they're worth buying the projector for. This comes in at 270 pounds on Amazon. They do some offers and discounts from time to time. So make sure you check out the latest pricing information by hitting the link in the description below. Before we go ahead and set this up, let's unbox this, see what's inside, and let's get straight into it. You can see how compact this is. I really like the fact that it comes with this nice little strap. So let's see what else is in the accessories box. You've got yourself the plug. You have a HDMI to HDMI cable. You have the remote control. You have the audio video cable inputs. And then you have yourself the user guide and warranty card. Right, so on the back, you have two HDMI ports, two USB ports, the headphone port if you wanted to connect your headphones and listen directly from that, the AV input, the power button, and the power plug there. Along the top, you have yourself the menu directional buttons, the OK button, menu button, and a back button. And this is where you can actually control the focus. Now this has 4D keystone correction, so you can do plus and minus 45 degree angles. You have a speaker there on the left hand side. So I'm gonna go ahead, set this up in my bedroom where I have the projector screen, test out some of the features, connect it to my laptop and to my iPhone 12 Pro using wireless capabilities in this. Check out some of the smart OS features for the Android TV, play some apps, and let's go ahead and see how it performs. All right guys, so I've just set up my projector there on the little tripod stand. It's gonna come down there from the ceiling behind me. Now you can set this up to a maximum of 6.8 meters away from your projection screen, which should give you around 200 inches of viewing experience. So mine is actually four meters away and my screen is about 120 inch, so it should fill that up almost fully. So let's go ahead and put this down. Now I'm gonna play a few things from the Android TV app and I'm also gonna connect it to my MacBook Pro. And lastly, I'm going to connect it to my iPhone 12 Pro using the wireless streaming capability on this device. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna turn all of the lights off, step to the side, and let's see how it performs in terms of the video quality and also the audio quality. All right guys, so now I've gone through the setup. The Wi-Fi is also connected. So you can download more apps from here on the Google Play Store. Obviously the most common ones, I've got Prime Video, Netflix, YouTube, and I've also just added Disney Plus. If you wanna add more apps, then you just go to the end, go to add. You've got HBO Max, Hulu, plenty of different options here. So all of the main ones that you obviously would like to use, you can do that. But most likely, if you want to connect to a HDMI source, like a Amazon Fire Stick or an Apple TV, you can also do that and access all of your apps from there. I can also connect my MacBook Pro using HDMI or just wirelessly stream my iPhone or even your Android devices. Let's check out what is in the settings. Keystone correction. So this is the 4D keystone correction that I always like to do. So on the actual device itself, you can now change this to whatever you like to make sure it's positioned correctly. Zero and zero is absolutely fine for me because I'm actually got this mounted on a tripod that allows me to move in any direction. 
You can also zoom in, you can change the projection mode whether you want it on a tripod or mounted on a ceiling. Sound settings, you can adjust the volume from here. Change the date and time and various other settings to update the firmware and reset the device. So all the common things that you would expect and actually to be honest the clarity in the screen especially in the blacks I think is actually very good compared to all of the lamp based projectors that I've had in the past this one is super clear even with the lights off those lamp projectors I can still see some type of washed out shading in the blacks and the shadows which is not great so if I go back here I can also go into the apps spotlight but then I can go into all of the main apps from here and download more from the Google Play Store. Now let's go ahead and play a sample video to test out what the quality is like, but also check to see what the audio is like coming directly from the actual speaker inside the Android TV projector. All right guys, so the quality on that for me was so good. And obviously you guys can't appreciate unless you're here in person looking at the screen and you can only judge by what you see on the screen you're watching this video on. But I promise you, this is the clearest and highest quality projection I've seen of any projector I've purchased in the past. Now the next test I wanna do is just connect it using HDMI to my MacBook Pro and just give you a sample video using that. So now my MacBook Pro is connected. Let me just make sure I can set the sound output to the projector like so. And let's go ahead and play another sample video. Again, I thought the quality was great and it's just so quick and easy. The response rate is super fast. As you can see, I can cycle between all of my windows very quickly and very easily. Minimal lag. And the last test I want to do is now connect this to my iPhone 12 Pro using the wireless streaming capability. Okay, so to connect my iPhone, I downloaded this app called AirScreen from the Google Play Store. You simply open it up, hit on start, Select again, and it will load up the device name, which is AS Projector LED, as you can see on the top left. On my iPhone 12 Pro, I need to go into the screen mirroring option, and that same device name will appear. I select it, 
and it will start to play on the projector. There we go. So now you can see I can use Apple AirPlay. So I'm cycling through, I can go on and I can play anything from here. So let's say for example, YouTube. Let's go ahead on my videos. Hey, what's up guys? This is the BenQ Wit, and this is the world's first e-reading lamp. Let's take a close look at the design. So the first thing you'll notice straight away is that this has a nice curved design. So this is like a smiley face. It's a very smiley and happy design, which I think looks great and is quite unique. There's two ways to control this. You have this turn button there at the top and you have the metal ring that you can touch. So let's look at these two in more details now. All right, so let's talk about the color temperature first. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found that very useful. Of course, the audio and video quality is probably not going to be the same as what you're hearing it through your screens. If you're watching it on your phone or your laptop or your computer, it's a lot different to seeing it in real life when I'm here in person watching it. But I have to say, it's the best projector I've had. The quality is so good. And even the clear blacks and the deep shadows, the colors, the vibrancy, it's really good for a projector of this size. And just the fact that it's compact and you can take it easily anywhere you'd like because it has that little carry handle with it, it's just so good and it's worth that price. Now do check them out. I've got the link in the description. They always have some offers running, so make sure you check the latest pricing information. If you did like this video and you do like tech reviews and projector reviews in general, I have new videos out every week, which I know you're gonna like. So make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.